Hey Brad, happy birthday. I hope you have an amazing day. We miss you guys and we hope to see you at people in October. Bye. Happy, happy birthday, birthday Brad. Brad. We love you. I'm singing this shirtless in honor of you, Brad. Ready? Happy, happy birthday, birthday to you. you. Happy, happy birthday, birthday to you. Happy birthday, 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 birthday dear Brad. Happy birthday, birthday to you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. birthday. We love you and we miss you. Bye. Oh. oh no. <laughs> You'll get to meet her soon. Happy birthday. Love you. Love Hope you. it's the best one yet. Say bye. Happy birthday! Did you have a good Corona birthday? Yes, it was good for the situation that we're in. I tried so hard to plan some just special like surprises since we can't like ultimately Brad would have wanted to go on a huge trip for his birthday. That's really what he wanted to do. Um, so we'll postpone that to some later time due to quarantine. But um, I don't know. I had fun planning everything. We kind of just turned his birthday, which was on Thursday into like a whole weekend. So on Thursday, what did we do? Well, Thursday morning, I woke up, but was told I couldn't come downstairs until 6.30. So I came down like right at 6.30 um, and there were um, balloons and you had made me um, coffee and that was, um, and there was a card, um, but that was pretty much the extent of everything because I had to be at work by seven um, because we're packaging orders for Fat and Weird. Um, Gabby had um, got me breakfast from Chick-fil-A I know you were gonna cook me breakfast, but I was. Gabby that was the, the plan. Right. Brad's favorite breakfast is like biscuits, grits, bacon, and eggs. Yeah. And but we did that later. Yeah. On Sunday. So, um, got his Chick Fil A. So Thursday was like work all the way until um, essentially like 6 p.m. Because as soon as I got done packaging all the orders from Fat and Weird, I came here and started like working on the new website. But he did come home, and he had one surprise, which was his. Parents came right. over, which he sees his parents anyway, so it wasn't like we're, we're still social distancing. But they came over and they brought like pizza stuff and we made a bunch of pizza and I don't know, that was fun. surprised about his parents coming. It was, everybody but was then surprised. I think I think the ultimate surprise was the video that we made for you. Happy, happy birthday, Brad. From my block down to yours. And know that so many of us are thinking about you today. We love your cookies. Happy birthday, Brad. Happy birthday, old man. Happy birthday, Brad. Brad. We love we you. Love you. Happy, happy birthday, Brad. Happy birthday, Brad. Hope you have a fantastic day. Happy birthday. I hope you have a wonderful day. Yeah, right. I had no clue about that. I knew that you were doing something, but I thought it was like the typical, here's our address, like send a card or something like that. Yeah. Um, and the video was great because I was able to see all of my friends um, without, because of quarantine, like I couldn't see them. So it's like, not like we could have planned a party. So they were, I was able to see them. Um, so that was cool. That yeah, was basically really I had all his friends, like some followers, uh, just, you know, people that love him, um, send him a little like birthday message. And so we compiled it into one video and I don't know, I loved it. Yeah, his it was face great. was, he was so happy. He was so happy. Yeah, I was smiling pretty big. Yeah. Um, and then um, the next day, which would be Friday, um, we had to wake up and we had to package um, cookie butter orders. So we didn't really do anything in the morning that day. Right. For me. So oh, like yeah. Austin and I left to go work out and then you came uh, after me. the same time and you would set up like the chairs and like set up like movie popcorn and like I a blew candy up the air, bar. I blew up the air mattress and like put that next to the couch. To make it, it all like just a like, big pit. Yeah. yeah. Um, and then his sister Ariel and her husband came over and we had like popcorn and snacks and candy.
watch Bad Boys 3, basically. Yeah, and then the next day, um, on Saturday in the afternoon, we went over to my sister's house where they had set up inflatable pools in the backyard, and we... Um, played bocce ball. Yeah, played bocce ball, and like spent time like just laying out in the sun. steaks for dinner and then my kitchen staff at Fat and Weird had made me this like beautiful huge cake that was cookie butter and um, we had this beautiful cake that we put uh, they put it in the oven to keep it away from their dog Rex and um, forgot that it was in the oven when they preheated it to make crescent rolls so it kind of got a little melted um, but it's, it's still a cake so Gabby and I went out to get Biscoff ice cream and ice cream bars because those are like new at Walmart and they were so good. So I feel like we kind of recovered with some of those ice creams, but next year we'll just have to do an even bigger and better Biscoff cake for yeah. you. And Sunday was the um, Easter service and then we had the breakfast that I really wanted. So I was able to do a lot of the stuff that I wanted for my birthday. Um, and it, yeah, of course I would love to have a party and you know, I was unable to see one of my, uh, my sisters because of like the quarantine and everything. Um, so I got to spend time with people that I already get to see, um, which was nice to spend like time not working. Um, but um, yeah, I would, I would love to have everyone together, which I'm sure we'll do. I'm, so, okay, I'm so sure everyone will have like big parties when this is over. So it's oh, like, yeah. it's, I'm, I'm guessing it's gonna be like this national holiday that we're gonna celebrate every single year. Like quarantine was officially over. If it's not, we should make it one. Yeah, we should. We should just make it, it's like a Thanksgiving. Yeah, yeah. It's like a summertime Thanksgiving. <laughs> It'll be in June, because there's nothing in June. Yeah. Okay, so when quarantine is over, what do you want to do for your birthday? Like, where do you actually want to go? Um, either a cruise or an all-inclusive. We'll find out which one's cheaper, which one, which one got affected more by this whole thing, and we'll go in the cheapest one. If you've been to an all-inclusive, comment down below and let yeah. us know where you've been, because we've never been to one. Yeah, but we've been on tons of cruises, so. Yeah. But I don't know, and then I would love to do just like, I think I'm truly gonna celebrate my birthday, I'll just say in like November, when we do our storefront for Fat and Weird, I'll act like that's my birthday party too. Yeah. And because everyone will come to the storefront from all over, you guys will be there. We'll get a big beach We'll just house. have a big party. Yeah. It'll be awesome. Mm -hmm. All right. Is that okay? We can do that. All right. Okay, end this video. Um. Thank you so much for watching the video. Thank you to everyone that wished me a happy birthday. Um, I really appreciate it. Um, it definitely made me feel special even though the circumstances that we're in. Um, so don't forget to like this video, um, comment down below um, your favorite all-inclusive if you've ever been to one, or what you're gonna do for your birthday if it's like during this quarantine time. Yeah. Um, share this video, subscribe if you haven't. You're, you're worth, worth it. it.